on Nike, and it's going to cost me over hundred dollars. So I haven't ordered it yet, but I understand that this room is a little bit echoey. I'm going to try and speak loud, clearly, but not too loudly. And yeah, so we're going to start off our episode by diffusing peppermint. No. <laughs> Patchouli! So today we're using patchouli oil, and I like the smell of patchouli oil. It's, this one's pretty thick. Um, I, it's not really like the most well-liked oil. I actually wasn't really sure about it, but I knew that it would be in this aromatherapy bottle. So I'm going to look that up. We're going to start the diffuser again. We're going to see if they have it. Grander, eucalyptus. Herbaceous, musky, balsamic undertones, blends well with lavender, well it just says all the things to, different than it blends with. I love bergamot. I'd like to smell Lang Lang because I haven't smelled that. Or frankincense, I'm thinking of getting that one as my next oil. Its main therapeutic properties is an antidepressant. Oh, oh. what's happening here? Plugged up. <laughs> uh, sometimes it does silly things. I knew I couldn't smell it. I was like, what's going on here? Antidepressant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antiseptic, aphrodisiac, astringent, something else, cytophilic, deodorant, fungicide, insecticide, and a sedative. It's the hippie essential oil. Great for me. Used much in the mid 1960s and early 1970s as perfume to mask the unpleasant odor of Afghan coats and disguise the smell of marijuana. What a perfect essential oil for today, everybody. Although I should be smoking herb, not concentrates. <laughs> it has always been extensively used in perfume. So. Anyways, I recommend this book. It's really quite informative, and I'm sure the person who recommended me the Crystal Bible. I wonder if it's by the same person, or if it's similar to this, so I'm going to have to look into that. And yeah, so let's get a dab going here. <clears throat> Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I asked around on Twitter, and I found three friends whom I'm going to choose a card for today instead of myself. I might choose one for myself, but I felt like just drawing cards for other people. So I have their names written down. So I can channel their presence, and when I choose a card, it hopefully will be something that they need. I've had friends choose cards for me, and it's pretty fun. So. All right, and I got. We're trying out this new ceramic nail that I tried it yesterday, Chris. Got it. The cool thing about this is that it actually is adjustable and it'll do female, male, and every different size. So 14, 16, and 18, I'm guessing, which is pretty cool. I had this little bong and figured I'd use it. 
it's almost like a little dapper. you're all having a wonderful Sunday. Did I already say that? <laughs> Cheers. Nice little dab. I'm gonna load another one. And then we're gonna get talking. So I'm using the black tourmaline um, crystal that we talked about yesterday. And I think that's something that I need right now. And I've brought out a bunch of these quartz so we can kind of put them all around and channel their its energy. I thought that would be fun ones to work with. I need that crystal Bible so I can read out of it instead of off of my computer or phone. I really don't like the phone. Even though it's where most of my friends live. <laughs> In my phone. Alright, so I put a couple other little dabs there. Might as well get nice and stony. Since I have a lot of tarot that I'm going to be doing, um, comment below if you want your tarot card read. I will for sure keep that in mind for next one.
I'll just do this one for me. And then, where did my go, Erin? Tiny hippies, teeny hippies, teeny hippies. I'm going to choose hers. Erin. What do I know? I feel like I should dig like three deep breaths because even though mine I just spontaneously choose, it's very me, but because I'm choosing for other people, it makes me really nervous. I actually have, <laughs> I've I, like I've done people's tarot, like, oh my god, I should tell, I should do story time about the times I've done tarot because if I can get them sorted and correct, it's like pretty fucked up, very weird, accurate, like pretty crazy. Accomplishment, material comfort, surprise money, gifts, winning, etc. Oh, my sister's gotten the upside down version of this before. And the result is enjoy material wealth with emphasis on holistic development, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical well being. That's nice. And then we've got mine, which is the Five of Wands, I believe. And it's also upright. Agitation, almost there, lack of satisfaction, obstacles, opposition, strife. Intent, center, take a neutral position and relax into the moment. That is actually something that I really needed because 